Good evening and welcome to you, Andy and and Amanda. How are you tonight? Amanda? Full of cake. Cake. Colleen, <laughs> what's, how are you today? Full you're of, cake, you're full, full of cake, cake as well, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it was so funny because Andy, you came on and you said, guess what Ma- Amanda had this morning? And I said, okay, what? And uh, you said cake and I said, so did I. I had yeah, Victoria's bro- sponge and, and I, I showed was wondering, it to you. This is oh, breakfast bro- we're talking about here and was listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not lunch, not tea. What is it, ladies? Breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> yeah, but breakfast. I didn't like this strange Christmas vibe, but without all the fun stuff, and I did cake for breakfast at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kid, I kid you not, Colleen. Um, what time you had that cake? It stupid o'clock, wasn't it? Was it? Half seven? No, it's about half eight. Half eight it was. Yeah. yeah, we got up. Both got up eventually about half eight, and Amanda comes in the in the study where I said, "I'm going to have cake for breakfast," and I didn't believe her. <laughs> so I just came down and sat down with my cake and started eating it. And Andy what? was just scoffing at me like it was weird or something. <laughs> and it is the person who had um, sausage roll and potato waffle sandwich for tea. Well, very nice. I had mustard, I had chilli chili, chili peppers with it, and I also had um, brown sauce with it. It was lovely. He's making a oh, chilli pies. <laughs> that's why. Come on, clean. What made you have, want to have cake for breakfast, son? I don't know, it's just I saw the um, Victoria sponge because you know like now when you just go when you go into the shops you just have to get what you can don't you and I just thought oh, well, yeah. I, I need some I like I like cakes anyway and I just got that because I was going to make one but it just takes a little while you know you just have to like set it all up so I got that and also you have like these IPAs like three mm. for five pounds and I thought oh, well I like lager, you know, from time to time. So I got that as well, and then no, that was the other day, and then uh, and then I went to the shops again this morning. And I got some crisps. <laughs> so <laughs> Colleen, let Amanda, Amanda say how she pronounces it when she says crisps. Well, no, don't say Amanda it. says it's also in an unusual way. Amanda says crisps. <laughs> 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 Chris. Now, <laughs> Colleen, obviously, um, I haven't told you yet what we're having for supper yet. Amanda's forgotten this, haven't you? Yeah. What did we have half a box of yesterday? I don't know. Oh, um, yeah, Turkish nights. They're yeah. a bit like um, after eights, but they've got Turkish inside yeah. them instead of mint. Yeah, we got them from the local pound shop a couple of what, last, what, last, last week, was it? Yeah. And they were disgusting. Oh, right. No, no not in the sense of horrible. They were, as a friend of ours, usually I run it to him as... He means, when he says disgusting, it means the opposite means it's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, yeah. And I was going to say, I was going to say, what? Because Turkish delight's really nice. You know, the, um, the that little jelly kind of, like, sweet with a bit of uh, dusting of icing on it. Icing sugar, I think. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. Now, I haven't told you, Colleen, what we're doing tomorrow for tea yet, have I, either? So, um... Because it's my birthday tomorrow, actually, as well. So I'm not, I'm not broadcasting it because I'm not into that game. But, well, you just have, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I have, anyway. What I'm doing is I'm out to myself now because I'm 48 tomorrow, right? So, but anyway, story another day. Um, I've decided tomorrow that a friend of mine's told me which of the local chippies is open, chip shops, and there's not many. So tomorrow, I'm going to go and order a nice, nice, disgusting fish and chips each for tea. Nice. That's why. So that's what we did. We I think when you come to the lockdown, it's obviously going to be for another couple of weeks. I think you do need these sort of treats, don't you? Because obviously you end up going crackers. I think. Exactly. Well, the thing is, I mean, I make soaps, as you know. I mean, mm. I think I told you in two thousand and six that you know I do crafts, and I mm. and then I went on to soaps. So I know you knew from around no, two thousand and seven. I know you know from around there that yeah, yeah, two thousand seven. So yeah. I did crafts, and then I did soaps. So. I bought my um, sewing machine a few years ago, like around that time or a little bit after, and uh, I made gift bags for the soaps. But mm-hmm. little did I know I would ever in my life start making face masks. You know, I oh, never yeah. thought I'd do that. Wow. <laughs> so what, what are you doing, Colleen? You've got them, got them made up with pictures of cake on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're so well then. My face masks are coming in on the 28th of May. They were only five pounds, but not I'm bad. not going to buy like face masks for a hundred pounds. I mean, you know, that's not that's yeah. not me. I can't do that. No, I've been. I've got two, and I'm going to order a third one next week. So, because I've got a couple. What I'm doing at the moment, I've worn one for about a week, and then I've bunged it in the wash, and I've got the one back from the wash. So, 
I'm going to order a third one just keep moving them, moving them around basically. So, but now I think I might take your advice and try and get try and go on a website that you can design your own. I'm sure do it with a piece yeah, of picture of cake. But on. there is one on Vistaprint, and I was looking into it, and then it says in small writing that it doesn't actually protect you, so it was more of a fashion statement. <laughs> What you mean, like no? But I think you can like double the um, the handkerchief. If you, if you just get some handkerchiefs and you just make them into face masks. Oh yeah, fair enough. Well, friends, yeah, I think it makes you wonder if it's worth bothering bothering about them. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna just do it as a fashion accessory now. Because Ben, no, I'm it's man- not really my idea of a fashion accessory. <laughs> no, and the trouble with cleaners, like I said, when you go out and stuff like that. We went up to um, God, it shows how naughty we are now, doesn't it? We went over at a bakery. Went to a bakery near Russ last week. Uh, Alan is Jembrick Amanda. Yeah. We wouldn't, um, I would say, of course, I, I don't officially go out for Amanda, but I sent Amanda directions, didn't I, Amanda? Yeah. How to go down to his bakery near us. And what did you get? What did you come back with, Amanda? I got a piece of chocolate cake and it was really nice and it only cost £1.20. Yeah, and you got me a lemon, was it? Nice. You got me a lemon slice one as well, didn't you, for the same price? Yeah. And two sausage rolls, really nice. It came up to clean, it came up to Amanda. You dumb me after me, you came up to £4.10, didn't you? I can't remember. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, but some you go to clean. There's one up, there's one on the other side, Denton, near us. And you were down there last week, Amanda, weren't you? Yeah. And what was, what were those two local um, cakes you Rocky, Rocky Road. Yeah. Rocky Road cakes there were. I know. They're well, not little oh. cakes, were they? They were like really Yeah. Little. Yeah, fairly big cakes. What they were clean, they were like £2.50 each. But the amount of sugar in them was absolutely yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> it's a bit too much chocolate yeah. for me. And you know it has to be really chocolatey for me to say that. <laughs> you know it's that clean. When do you ever hear Amanda say that? What's that? Man, it's well, a bit too much chocolate for me on the Rocky Road cakes. <laughs> I'm not. I'm it not. It must used have to... been like two inches of like melted chocolate on top of it, and then the actual <laughs> cake underneath it. Yeah, no. it, they were. They were really, 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 really rich. They were chocolatey. It, yeah, they were a bit like. Because then you ask people, no, I'm diabetic. I shouldn't be having that in the first place. But at the moment, it's a case of I don't mind. I think little things don't hurt me too much. That's why I'm spat about all this rubbish and we're talking about it today. But like then when we had that Rocky Road one last week, oh my good grief. We were blood bad, but you saw me so it's so red away, man. The blood sugar went straight over the roof, yeah, it didn't I that. think you should have chopped that into pieces and made it last for a week. What? I'm not I should have chopped it in the half and give you the half, shouldn't I? Yeah, I can have one and a half and then I can also be diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> That's why but oh do you say your mum your mum had a big cake on the other day as well? Yeah, she Imagine. posted a picture, she tried to order one for Easter and she didn't get it with a shopping, so she's got one now later than planned. And she posted That's all right. she posted a picture and I zoomed in on it and it says surf sixteen and there's only two of them in that flat. Because you can't count the dog because the dog won't eat cake. <laughs> So you can see, Colleen, I think mean, being a cakeaholic and chocoholic runs in a man's family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can have Easter in May, can't you? Yeah, you can have also Christmas in May as well, can't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every day should be Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask you, Colleen, then, what, what's your family like then for cake, cake and chocolate? Uh, do they all have chocolate sweet tea, do they, like you, or they're not too bad? No, uh, no, I'm the only one. My mum don't really like um, sweet um desserts or anything like that she prefers like savory food oh savory right oh uh, yeah uh, for my case i do like a more sweet tooth but again i have to be careful so less is more for me so but i can <laughs> i've got a friend that a friend of mine man the man's called kevin and he is a proper cakeaholic he is and um i sent him a picture over those two little pieces of cake we've got manda got us the other day from that denton place I think send them to clean. I clean. I send it to you. You can put it on the podcast as well. I think I've got a picture of them. And what did what did Kevin say back to him, Amanda? I think he said it'd last him five minutes. Yeah, hang on. I've got it. <laughs> I, I can tell you what I said, Colleen. One minute. I'll say what he said to me. This is my friend. This is my friend Kevin's like, and he's an absolute. He's um. He is a notorious cakeaholic. I love cakes. Yeah. Right, here we are. Me too. Yeah, he said here. Then sent the picture over to him on one of them. It's mine actually. I sent it to him, and he put a bit small. Will not last long enough. <laughs> and then I said to him, Amanda's got two laugh out loud. And he put, that's better, might last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been with him at the Markets before, haven't we? Looking at trays oh. of cake, and he's at, he seriously asked the shop assistant, like, how much for the whole tray? <laughs> <laughs> and that was, that was, then what was funny, Colleen, and that was, he acted then a turn around and asked the lady, do they do bulk discounts? 
<laughs> and it was like that was some of this rocky road thing and I was I was sat next to the next man and said I don't believe you just said that yeah. <laughs> and the first thing was Colleen he was serious over it as well I've just said you've got a discount if you get by the whole tray you'd have done it yeah and but he's like he's a massive bloke he's about six what is he he's taller than me isn't he yeah. he's, about, he's, he's not, not fat though because he does a lot of running he runs it all off he runs marathons and stuff <laughs> nowadays he does but he's six foot three clean he's a huge huge tall tall man he is so I'm six for six foot six one, and he's just like he's but he's just very very big bloke. But he he know he does what two or three five five k runs a week, obviously for lockdown. But then that, then we think he goes and ruins it over the week. Yeah, you can still do yeah. that now, aren't you? That's yeah, but he, but he does it in groups. He likes it in groups mm. for the social side of it. But I think at the think at weekend or during the week when whenever he always makes my speech and clean, and and every time somebody brings a tin of chocolates into work, half the tin vanishes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell me. Bobby bought chocolates in the other day. Big mistake. Big mistake, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then the other one was then, what's it? Fiona and, and I told you this one on, didn't I? This for Christmas. It said Fiona and reception bought, bought a tray of donuts in. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we seem to. It's, I mean, it's, it's case clean. It's like you two. It's, I think half the time you, you enjoy, generally does enjoy it. But it's part of the, it's a gag of him half the time. That's why. And he knows that Amanda's like the cake. Oh, blimey. I've got a reputation for it now, I think. People have started commenting on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tell tell <laughs> Colleen what happened before we read today. Oh, I asked for some poetry prompts on Facebook and somebody that's figured out my cake obsession said cake. <laughs> or oh, the chocolate cake, that was it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when did we do? We do. Um, we, you know, clean obviously We're doing a writing workshop at the moment. Me and Amanda are every two Thursdays. And um, how did it happen that Steve Smythe uh, had to go with you over that the other day? You did the thing where you had to do a oh, lie about yourself. Yeah, we, had, we set up a clean where I did an writing exercise. We asked, asked people to say a ridiculous lie about themselves. And what was yours, Amanda? I said I don't like chocolate cake. So then, then a friend of ours was Steve. Ended up having to write about that, and he just ribbed Amanda completely. <laughs> <laughs> not nasty it was just generally very 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 funny so well, over cake basically I've got to the mention did you know there's actually three sorts of sugar in cake yeah, and we found out afterwards he brought up the cake recipe to find yeah. out what was in it to yeah. help him buy it <laughs> that's fine that was, it was good fun it was good fun that Colleen so anyhow so are you having cake tomorrow for your breakfast Colleen then yeah, if I if I don't finish it off tonight, yeah, I'll have a cake tomorrow. Good one, good one. I'm proud of yourself. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think we're having cake every bit of month. No. They're always so we're staying we off. Have, we could have chippy if we could find a chippy that delivers at breakfast time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but I've had I've had takeaway pizza microwaved in the morning for breakfast. I don't think I've ever done chippy that time. No, it, w- it won't be good getting microwave the next morning. Oh, and no, I don't think my stomach could handle it, to be honest, to chip it at half past seven in the morning. Oh, what? Really? Yeah, no, it's. I, I, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no, no, you'd have to wait till at least eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, at least eight. Come on, Colleen, what's the worst or the naughtiest breakfast you've ever had then? Apart from cake. Apart from cake? Yeah. Pizza. Oh, we've done, <laughs> we've done pizza before now, Amanda, haven't we? So. <laughs> There used to be where Amanda used to live. There used to be a really good um, takeaway pizza place, and you can get two twelve-inch pizzas. What was it now? A two-liter bottle of Diet Coke. Something like fifteen pound, wasn't it, for two big pizzas, a bottle of Coke, and fry, two lots of fries. And there's loads of dip, two lots of dips yeah, as well, yeah. wasn't there? For fifteen, fifteen odd quid, Colleen. And we used to get it at six o'clock in the evening on Saturday evening, and we couldn't. And then you have it in the morning. That's we nice. The, we had half a pizza each in the morning, normally because we couldn't eat it. It was just too much. We just stuffed the pair of us completely. Because we used to get quite a lot of chips, didn't we? So we used to eat the chips and then the pizza and then you you even out of space and you have to save the rest of the pizza. Yeah, oh, it was dead. <laughs> that was deadly, was all I can say there, right? So, but a good, good day is nice, dead. So hopefully when things pick up again, we all can be naughty and our takeaways anyway, so. But I know you said, you know, you said, Colleen, you've got a few open up near you, haven't you, so, takeaway-wise? Pardon? Haven't you got a few takeaways near you, Colleen, that are open? You know what, Pretz is still open, so it's open from 8am till 2pm, Pretz. Oh, that's not Quite bad. If it's... That's yeah, not... from, I think, um, uh, one or two restaurants are open for takeaways, and, um, but mainly the Pretz one is really good, but um, I never seem to get there before, after 8, or I never seem to get there after 2. 
So it's a really awkward um, timing, I think. You know, yeah, the eight yeah. till two. Clean, fifteen minutes. Yeah. So it's good night from a.